Young Chateau, man. What's going on, world? It's the big homie DJ JT the Donnie. Girl, Alana D. Bridge Janae, aka Miss Low Body. Hey, I'm Zaza Satanica. Tune in to Chi Town. Chi Town. Chi Town. Chi Town. Chi Town. Listening to Chi Town. Urban Radio on UBM Jams. Chicago Urban Radio. Um, you like this beat right here, bro? I can go off. I can go off anything. Okay. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up. Turn it up. He's breaking right now, people. We don't have many people come on uh, and do it live, so he's about to break it. Side town over radio, man. Let's go. Let's, come on. Come turn on, ready? Give me something up. real. Turn uh, it up for me. Uh. Uh. Turn it up. Uh. It's freestyle, too. Uh. Shot town urban radio with Malone. Get yeah, a boy freestyling off the dome. It's nothing. I'm the freestyle king. Tell them haters all near down, kiss the ring. And I don't even really know what I'm saying right now. I'm just trying to ram and stay in the zone right now. I mean, stay up on the track like I'm running. Who attract me? But I'm coming, stunt and study, coming for mass. And if you got it, I'ma get it. And I don't care if you with it, if you with it, I'm with it. I'm just spitting. I don't even know no more. Hey. I keep flowing. Uh, forget it, I keep going. Okay. Yeah, beer gang keep growing. Huh, I bet they already know him. Ah. Follow me on Instagram at the bit of Prince. Oh, <laughs> like stop. Hey, 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 I like I'll that. Just, let me let's go off anything. Let's man. stop that, man. Let's stop that. As like, long as you I stay your busy. grown man stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, gotta that's, be. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta um, stay focused. Uh before we get into the break, because we have to we do a a, a break now. Before we get into the break, um I wanna ask you this. Now, I wanna ask you a real question. And I and, I, and just be truthful. Would you rather money or fame? I'd rather take the fame. Why is that? This this is why I say that. Listen, everybody probably like, oh, he crazy. First of all, I already got my own business. You know what I'm saying? On top of it, I work. So I'm making money already. I really just like doing the music because I like to do the music. I can make a song about anything. I can make a song about a broom. You know what I'm saying? I can make a song about anything. I love music. But the reason why I say I want the fame is because of our youth, of the kids that look up to the artists. The artists, y'all don't know what type of powers y'all have. Y'all need to use y'all powers for good, man. Like, for real, for real. Everybody yeah. want to be Lil Wayne. See, everybody want dress. Everybody want the little, uh, the, the mop look now. Like, artists did this. Everybody wearing the tight pants. Everybody saying, shoot them up, bang, kill your grandmama, kid. And people out yeah. there trying to live life and do that. So it's like, use your powers for good. If I got famous... You know what I'm saying? Like I said, keep the money. If I got family, these people will listen to me and these kids will listen to me. That's all. Like, like they say reach one, teach one. I say reach one, teach a million because that one person go spread that message to everybody. Real, You real. know what I'm saying? So I really just want the fame just, just so I can use my powers for good. Real, man. Well, let's go ahead and get with these commercials, man, so we can pay our bills here. Uh, Site Town Number Radio, stay in tune. Hello, everyone. My name is Zoe. I'm the host of the Hearts of Men Intimate Talk. We're back. Side Town Number Radio, the best place to be at on a Saturday night. 8 to 10 with your boy at the top of the, the well, not at the top of the hour, but we're 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in. We got my guy, Red. Man, what's going on? Not much, man. I'm chilling. I was just turning up to that jet stuff. Man, like hey, I you, never see, heard you, see, you see my engineer guy, man. He <laughs> yeah, yeah, geeked he off that. that. He was in that rock. Geek <laughs> off that, G. So let me ask you this. Now, um, what was the emphasis on that song? What made you, what inspired you to do that? Just us. Uh, that was uh. See, a lot of people don't even know I stopped rapping for three years. I just started back. Okay. Just started back. Really. Um. I stopped. And you know, I, I really stopped to get my business together to get my clientele up with that and get my business off the ground because you gotta have some seed money up in this music game. And a lot of people don't even know this music game is ninety percent business, ten percent music. You can go in a booth and give a hundred percent, but. It's ninety percent business, ten percent music. You gotta have something to fall back on. You that's, know what I'm that's, that's some that's some stuff to think about. So, yeah, right so, there, uh, man. That's yeah, just us just came. I'm like, man, I'm back, man. I'm finna get up in the studio, man. It's, it's too easy to get in the game right now. These, these like I'm like these fools in the game making money. I'm like, no, I can get up in the game. That's too easy. Let me get back in and show them how to really do it, man. So Real. I'm like, I'm like red back. I'm finna go ahead and do it, take off. I start the NBF thing, nothing but family entertainment. And I just say it's just us. It's just the family. You know what I'm saying? It's just us. Real, Nobody real. Nobody else. Okay, definitely. Now, let's talk about this, man. Now, I think it's on April the first, right? Yeah, yeah. April yeah, the first. Yeah, yeah. They're supposed to have me DJing there. DJ Malone gonna be on the ones and twos. I will be on the ones and twos. I really don't. They haven't told me the location of it. Do, it's do uh, the show is on April the first. Um, shout out to the Rich and Real crew. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They hosting the show. They got the show popping. Uh, my boy. My boy, uh, 250, or was it 250? Oh, yeah. I said it wrong, bro. I, I, My bad, he, he, man. He said it was two. When I talked to him, he was 250. Okay, 250. 250. I know him as Domo. You know what I'm saying? I call him Domo, but Ooh. my boy, 250, Big Chris, AC, Demo, Sun God. You know what I'm saying? That's the Rich and, um, the rich and Real crew. Okay. They got the show popping on April the 1st. That's out there near uh, O'Hare Airport. 3900 West Columbus Avenue in Chicago, April the 1st, 3900 West Columbus Avenue. I got tickets on deck in my hand right now. How much are tickets? Uh, the tickets is um $5 in advance to get them right now. It's 10 at the door, and at the 11 o'clock, it's going to be like 40 bucks. So you just need to holler at me a big or a big uh, 40 bucks to get in? And the show's selling out like crazy, man. It's selling out like crazy, for real, for real. Y'all better get you one. I got tickets on deck. DJ Malone gave y'all the number. Y'all need to call and try to get three some one, tickets, hey, man. Look, 312-754-4333 is the number to call in to get these tickets. And I'm doing that Just Us Live, man. When you hear that live, you're going to be amped. You're going to be too turned so, up. So what are you wearing for that, man? What are uh, you wearing? I'm going I'm to keep it. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to be suited and booted, but I'm going to still be casual, though. You know, okay. I got to keep it classy, man. I'm a classy man. Shout out to Jen Denner. I was doing it before he came out with the song, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of us were, to be honest with you. So, all right, definitely, man. April the 1st, make sure you guys get April the tickets the first. right now, man. I mean, it, just walk up to the guy. I need some tickets. Yeah, they five. I need right some now. tickets. I'm, I'm feeding. I need five to see right ya. now, man. Y'all go spend $10, 20 dollars on the loud and the drink and go see Lil Wayne. You can't come spend five or ten to come see your boy, man. Then you're fool. I'm gonna tell you just like that. But they five right now, ten at the door. And at the 11 o'clock, when you get there, it's going to be 40 bucks. And the show selling out. It's going to be live because everybody's performing, coming, got heat. You know what I'm saying? Um, 3900 West Columbus Avenue in Chicago. Any any uh, big names going to be in there or you don't know at this point yet? Uh, I don't know because the show's still booking and selling out like crazy. I don't oh, even know. Don't so even you guys know. need to do it. Once again, that number is 312-754-4333 is the number to call in. And... Man, April the 1st is, that's what it is right there, man. Going April down. the 1st. Now, Red, man, I, I want to ask you a series of questions. I want to play a game with you, man. Let's get it. I want to play a real, not even, it's not crazy. Well, knowing me, I am crazy, so I, it's, <laughs> it, it gonna, it's gonna come off whatever. But let me ask you this. Reese's or Hershey's? Hershey's. Why? Because I don't, I don't, Hershey's, I don't know. I can't, I can't really explain. I just prefer, if I had to choose, I'm choosing Hershey's. Okay. Tupac or Biggie? Uh, man, that one hard, man. That one, that one kind of hard. I, I really, I really rock with both of them the long way. Cause if you listen to Big, like right now, he sound like he was rapping now. Like mm-hmm. his style was like 2012, 2015. Like he was real, like way ahead of his time when everybody yeah. was like, you know, rapping like, "I'm coming for you like this and that." Big was flowing like how we flowing right now. He had a real. futuristic flow. And Tupac, I mean, he he just he just went hard, man. He went hard. He ain't bite his tongue. And that's what I love about anybody. You don't bite your tongue. You keep it a hundred with yourself before you keep it a hundred with anybody else. Tupac was was more real, real raw real. and rugged. You know what I'm saying? Real. So it's like they was really on two different different uh, levels to me. So it's like real, real. and Biggie and on Biggie level, Biggie on, on Tupac level, Tupac they was in their own lane. So I can't even really I can't even really choose, man. Real, that's real. I'm gonna give you a hard one this time. Kells or Twister? What you mean? Like for Chicago or yeah. for music? It's for music. Kells, man, he a musical genius, man. Kells <sighs> is a genius, bro. I, I look that I, man made a whole series about being trapped in the closet, and everybody was watching like it was a story, and like, still on it. Yeah, like that still was on man. It, that though, man, man is a music, and then off the strength that I learned like maybe ten or fifteen years ago that he didn't even know how to read. Oh, wow. So he was writing his songs by like singing them, you know what I'm saying, and recording, listening back to him. He ain't know how to read or write. His daughter taught him how to read and write. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Man. So he was a music when he made I believe I can fly. He didn't know he just learned how to read, maybe like I think they say five, six years ago. Okay. Like officially. So he was making all them songs not knowing how to read, man. That's crazy. So he's man. a musical genius. Like he's a he is a genius, bro. So Kale's all day, but I rock with Twister though, you know what I'm saying? For Chicago, his music, but Kale's though. Okay. What would you like to perform at and why? Um, 
the Chicago Theater because it's a, it's a huge venue and all the greats been there. Everybody who started out in Chicago started there, then they moved on. Real. The Harold Washington Culture Center just because it's the Harold Washington Culture Center. Yeah, that's just because it's, it's him. Yeah, yeah, it's him, man. Uh, anywhere, like I said before, when I was on the show, man, I perform at a backyard party. If you showing me love, I'm coming to rock that boy, man. For real, any venue, Vons, wherever, any club. When you- um, Adriana's, wherever you showing me love, and y'all rocking out with me, I can perform, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you had Adriana's, I ain't going. Yeah, I probably won't won't go either, unless I hear like a thousand I, people. I, I, and 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 I DJ that at Adriana's before. I'm not going unless I'm getting paid. Give me five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll be there. But other than that, nope. Yeah, nope. you're letting anybody in there now. Yeah, they don't even card no more. Well, you know what though, I, and I told you know last time when we all talked about what when Welvin the Great came, you know the guy the yeah, dude that seen yeah. got him. Yeah, um, <laughs> they promoted him like he was the actual rapper, and, For the, real? and and on the radio, Welvin the Great at Adriana's be oh, there yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, I was seeing that. I was seeing that. Who is doing this, man? Yeah, that's Chicago for you, man. Chicago, the music scene in Chicago is so full, man. I swear, man. It's, it's super full, but I ain't going to be one of those dudes who leave and go to Atlanta or go somewhere else to get some love because I'm, I'm going to demand my respect and my, and my credibility and my love in Chicago. Like, I don't care about no street cred, none of that, man. Say that for the birds. I've been there, done it. I'm blessed, and I made it out that situation. You know what I'm saying? I was in the streets. I don't even want to go there and talk about that because I made it out that situation. Right now, I want talent credibility. He can make a good damn song credibility. His songs hot credibility. I want music credibility. Forget the streets, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's over with. It's it, it getting to the point now. It's just it's overplayed now, man. Yeah, like, man. You know, like them young cats, they're not understanding, man. And there's no code to this stuff anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know when when we were kids, when we were sorties. It used to be somewhat of a cold. Yep. Like, they would tell you, hey, you guys need to get the hell up out of here because something's about to go down. And we couldn't even, we couldn't miss school. We missed school. We got a mouth shot. They called us on the block, walking up and down the block, and it was school out. What you doing out of school? Come here. You got a mouth shot. Bad, bad one of the OGs. Bad the big homies. Now it's just all reckless, man. And here's the song I want to say, too, to y'all Chicago artists. If you're going to make a diss song for every track that you make, man, stop rapping, man. For real. Oh. Stop rapping. For real, for real. That's real, though. Hey, man, he's speaking real to you guys, man. You guys need to call in 312-754-4333. Go download that Urban Broadcast Media app and hit that talk and press that play button or the TuneIn app, UBM Talk. Make sure you guys stay in tune. Now, Valentine's. Last time you came, it was right before Valentine's Day? No, nah, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was yeah, I just what did you do the, for Valentine's Day? From the father-daughter dance. For, um... For Valentine's Day, man, I had to sit in the crib because a crazy situation happened to me right like right before Valentine's Day. They, the police jacked me and pounded me for my car. I had to pay twelve hundred, well fifteen hundred to get it out the uh, out the pound. That was all my money I was gonna spend on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna last that up in the crib, but I stayed in with my beautiful wife though. Hey, so it was all good. Hey, that sometimes that'd be the best times. Though, yeah, man. it was all that'd good. That'd be the best times though, man. Straight like that. So. Um, like I said, congratulations on being married and everything else like that, man. Because it it it, it, it that takes commitment. So that really does, and and I, I I applaud you for that. Thank you. Because uh, me. You know what's what? that? What's that number again? I got people hitting me up asking me what's the number. Oh man, three one two. Three one two. Seven five four. Seven five four. Forty three. Forty three. Thirty three. Thirty three. Straight like that. So on shorty now. On shorty <laughs> in them though. On, on shorty, shorty in them. them. Hey man, let uh, let's let go into this next one because you just really it, it kind of fits what you're talking about. You're really flexing on. Yeah, like biceps. So let's go in here and get to the into like this bicep. joint right here, man. It got, and I really enjoyed the, the song myself. So let's get into it. Flex it on Sight Town Number Radio. Let's go. It's Saturday, Malone. It's Saturday. <laughs> you did it again. Oh, I, I did it again. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's Saturday. Saturday, man. I'm sorry. Uh, we do got a caller on the line, man. Caller, man. State your name and where you're calling from. Caller, you there? 250, what's going on, man? I don't know how to, uh, I guess, because they got this new thing now, and I don't know how to work it, so... Oh, he's on air. So, hey, man, what's going on? What's up, man? What's up? I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm chilling. I mean, we got your guy right here, Red. 
I know. You know I had to call in and show my homie love, man. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely, man. Hey, we were just talking about the event, man. Tell us about the event. What's going on? Man, look. We got some of the finest upcoming artists from Chicago, man. Everybody want big names, but we going we gonna to let them hear Rich and Real, which is my group. And we're going to let them hear a few other artists from Chicago, including your very own Red that's online with you right now. Straight like that. Straight like that, man. And you know we got the hottest DJ in Chicago that's going to host it, right, DJ Malone? Oh, man, look, I'm just a guy with a turntable and a microphone and a camera. <laughs> oh, you be working magic, man. Oh, man. What's going on, though, man? How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm up in here jamming to my boy Red. Definitely, man. That's what's, what's up? That's what's up. Man, keep in tune, bro, man. It's going to be one hell of a show. Oh, yeah, man. I'm out here selling tickets right now, and I still got them. Definitely, man. Hey, I'm telling you, you guys need to go up to them like like, like crackheads. I need that ticket, bro. I need that oh, ticket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, t- t- uh, shout out King Louie, too, man. I know he wanted to make it, but he got something to do. Uh, All the other artists, G Herbo, Lil Baby. You know, they uh had shows and shit already booked, so, man. Definitely, man. Well, I appreciate you calling in, G. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Town Number Radio, man, the best place to be at on a Saturday night. I, ca- I got to get used to saying that, man. I got to get used to saying that, though. Um, We're here with my guy, Red. Um, We're coming up to the, to the next hour, but I want to get to really just talk to him and really just see what he what, what he liked. You know about this the positivity about this so let me ask you this man throughout this whole time that you've been doing music give me something positive and that's that happened or transpired in your career um the most the most positive thing that happened for me in my career is uh my baby wanna wanna do music now mm. like she becomes me like daddy i just wrote this song i got this song so that's why um i stopped doing a lot of the, other, the songs you heard was already recorded before she really got in tune into my music. But like now she know my song, lyric by lyric. Oh, so man. that uh, song, Let Me Splash, that's going to be the last twerk song I make. Because I already I tell her like anyway, like twerking is not good. Don't twerk. Real, real. That's going to be the last twerk song I make. Um, I ain't really making no more songs too much about, you know what I'm saying, no no guns no more. I might have a line or two up in there, but ain't going to be no song glorifying them real, real. cause just off the strength that she listened I know other kids listening too like I said I want I want the fame not the money just so I can reach out to them kids but yeah mainly like the kids the kids rocking with me a lot of kids rocking with me I got a song uh, on YouTube called From Inglewood to Hollywood that we shot at the Marcus Garvey uh, parade that was uh, honoring the late great Marcus Garvey um, they had the kids and like my that. daughter a lot of bunch, bunch of the kids in those events for the kids uh, it's called From Inglewood to Hollywood Young yeah. Shat Town shot that video. Shout out to Young Shat Town, man. Shout Trump out. Music USA, man. For real, man. Uh, YC Films, what up? YC, shout out, man. Pound for pound. DJ Pound Trap for Jesus, man. man. Shout out to um, Flow Money. Shout out F- to my man. wife, my daughter. Shout out to my Ooh. mama, my OG, Nene. Shout out to my little sisters and brother, Jamisha, Jamira, Janasia, Lil James. Real. Aquila, aka Applehead, my granny, my family in general, man. Shout out to all y'all. Love y'all. Um But yeah, everybody that's rocking with me though, man. What up, man? Beard gang or no gang. Follow your boy up on Instagram at the Bearded Prince, man. That's D-A underscore bearded underscore prince. Twitter the same Ooh. thing, the bearded prince. Facebook the same thing, the bearded prince. D-A underscore bearded underscore prince. Follow your boy. I follow back. I ain't gonna be no Social media famous dude When you comment on something I ain't gonna comment back I ain't gonna show you no love I'm talking to everybody What do you think about The social media The the game nowadays It's just like There's so much stuff You got Snapchat Instagram Facebook As far as promoting And, and networking go I love it But they be showing So much bull crap Man I be ready to delete My uh, page I'm saying like I'm, I'm, I'm tired of seeing Like fights and dumb stuff Up on my timeline Yeah most people that share that stuff, do I, I instantly delete them or block them. I don't want to see that going down my timeline, man. man. That's dumb. Like, you know what? You know what, though? I knew it was real when I saw people fighting that Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's gotten to the point to where y'all doing in front of the kids, yeah. the sorties, and it, it's just crazy to me, man. It's just, yeah. It really is. So you're fighting that Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, I like that. You like that beat right there? Yeah, that's nice. Oh man, I used to get some cutty off of that. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but um, we here, man. Now in the next three years, where do you see yourself going in the next three years, man? In the 
the next three years, um, I see me making my impact that I'm making because, like, I didn't even know I was getting so much love that I was getting. Um, a lot of people rocking with me on Facebook when I post my videos, they resharing it. Uh, the beer game video got over 800 shares, 14,000 views, uh, about 70 comments. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know a lot of people was rocking with me like that. Uh, so in like three years, I see my movement growing. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the positively moving, the positive moving, the swag I got. You know what I'm saying? The the fact that, um, like I said, I want the fame and not the money. I think the kids, everybody gonna start looking up to me. I think my swag and stuff gonna catch on, man. I think everybody gonna gonna follow suit eventually. Definitely. They gonna have to. I'm gonna demand my way to the top. Definitely, man. Hey, uh, you you gotta give this guy a round of applause because I'm seeing that you're making moves. You're doing here, there, everywhere. You're just being everywhere, and I think that's the most important thing. You gotta be consistent. Yeah. You gotta be consistent. And you gotta evolve. You don't do that. Yeah, you ain't gonna go nowhere. But man. Th- let me ask you this: Do you think it's better? To get out of Chicago and then make it somewhere else versus because I, here's my thing is this I just feel like when you're not really on, they don't want to show you love. Yeah. But when you get on, it's like, oh, yo, that's one of our own jokes, so we got to support. So what do you think, man? What, what, what's your feelings? Uh, me personally, if I got to leave Chicago to get some love, man, like when I come back, don't say nothing to me. Point blank period. Like when I act funny towards you, don't act like you don't know why it is when you ain't show me love in the first place. And I've been saying this forever. I put it on Facebook all the time. And I tag people in my show, say come through. Even when it was show was free and you ain't want to come. So when I blow up and I don't mess with you, don't act like you don't know why. So if I have to go somewhere, I don't want to have to leave Chicago to go get the the love and support that I'm, you know, I'm trying to get here. But if I have to leave eventually. And then come back and y'all try to show me love. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna treat you with a long handle spoon. Like I'm gonna get out of my way. You ain't show me love, then don't show Straight me like love that. now. Straight, Straight like, like that. that. No chasing, no ice. I don't like I, I, I don't like ice. Well, I do like <laughs> ice. But I like ice a little bit. Not not it that water, much. It watered down the drink, so I'm coming straight like that. No chasing, no ice. Definitely, definitely, man. Real I feel real. that. Um Facebook to Twitter, everything where they can find you at. The bearded prince, man. Facebook. My, my government, you know what I'm saying, D-W-A-U-N-R-E-D-D. Uh, and also, I got a fan page on there, D-A underscore bearded underscore prince. Instagram, D-A underscore bearded underscore prince. Twitter, same thing. And go like my business page, too, up on Facebook, ADs, maintenance, and more. Like I said, if you want to inquire about a job or something, hit me up every week, see if we got something for you. Um, that's about it, man. I ain't putting my number on here because I don't want nobody to do like they was doing Mike Jones, man. Mike Jones, who? Mike Jones. <laughs> hey, I'm going to Houston um, in uh, May. In May? So, yeah, I'll be going down there. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something else. I might take that trip with you, like 1,000 copies of my CDs, man. Hey, you know what I mean? You oh, may yeah. never know what I get into. You Vide- know me. Video shoot coming up, too, for flexing on them and let me splash. Um, Only thing going to be different is uh, the homie Beast ain't going to be in the video or on the song. So uh, Definitely. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut them to cut the song short, but it's still I'm still gonna turn up on the songs in the videos, though. The video Definitely. shoots coming up real, real soon. I'll keep Definitely. y'all in tune on that, man. Definitely, man. Well, let's go ahead and get the hell up out of here. Side Town Number Radio. We're gonna be right back, people. Let's go. Do you want your kids to feel safe, protected, and valued? Looking for ways to connect your child with other positively motivated young people on a consistent basis?